Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. Today we're taking a look at the 1997 Honda Civic Type R, the EK generation of Civic, my personal favourite generation of all the Civics because I, I love the way it looks, the statistics, everything about this uh, I'm very much a fan of. Um, yeah, this should be interesting. The last Civic we had was, well, the first car that ever went around the track, the 93 Civic SIR, the EG, and that's still one of the quickest front-wheel drive cars that we've had round. So, uh, can the later generation beat that one? Well, it's not running racing modification, but that's because the 98 one will be statistically front-engine front-wheel drive, 311 horsepower, 966 kilos. Makes no torque, though, so be interesting to see how this gets along. It is going to get six laps of the motorsports line that tracks at the best time it possibly can. Currently, it is the TVR Cerber LM Edition. 28.620. The Civic is unlikely to beat that. The Civic is likely to be quick though. Uh, this one is running a turbocharger as well, which should help it a little bit. Um, I was going to run this originally naturally aspirated, uh, but then I realized the uh, if you do that, the statistics are incredibly similar to the Spoon Civic, which is in the game. So. I've decided against running that, and instead we'll, uh, we'll run the turbocharger and see how we get along. So, yeah, cool car this. I love the EK uh, Civic. I desperately want one of these, although the prices have uh, gone ridiculous on this. I say I want one of these. I think in real life I'd probably get the, uh, the coupe. I can't remember what the... I think that actually has a different name like chassis code, the coupe, but I'd probably get the coupe just for the underground vibes, but although I wouldn't do underground things to it, I should stress that, just just because it's a cool looking car, not the uh, not because I want to stick a big body kit on it, but no, I love these cars, I really wanted one, uh, but the values, literally as I started like, when I was first buying my first car, uh, these were cheap. And then by the time I wanted a, a, my second car, I was looking at these and the values like shot up for anything that wasn't like a 1.4, which you don't want. Um, you know, I wanted like the uh, 1.6 or something like that, which has like 120 horsepower, I think. But yeah, the values for those absolutely went through the roof. I remember like overnight, like Jordan models went from being like five grand cars to over 10 grand. And now I think they're like 14, 15,000 pounds for those things. Yeah, people have, uh, even in the UK, which is weird because the Honda Civic was never that popular here and still isn't really. Um, it, it, it amazes me how much the prices have like gone up. I guess it's because people, I don't know, actually. Maybe because like the Japanese want their cars back, so people are jacking the prices up or something. But um, yeah, the prices have certainly shot up when it comes to uh, to Civics, which is a shame because I really want one. Well, well, I want one of these ones. I've got a Civic, but not like a, a, a not old Civic. I've got a brand new one. So. Uh, come on. I don't think this is going to be quicker than the old one. Yeah, it's just not quite as uh, as quick as that other one. You can see by the lap times, it's incredibly consistent. That might be an out of bounds. It's a dubious corner cut, but we'll take it. Yeah, it's just not quite as... Uh, I get, Look, I gave it to the, uh, the Prime Air. I can give it to this. Yeah, it's just not... Um, it drives, honestly, it drives terrifically, like really, really nice, but the, um, it's just not quite got the speed, which is unfortunate, but like I say, the actual, like, drivability of this is terrific, like, it drives beautifully, but, I mean, you can see the sort of the consistency in the, uh, in the lap time there. There is 0.2 in there, but... I think that might be a case of it, it there is point two in there, but it's a point two you'll be chasing all day. And considering the only front wheel drive cars ahead of this uh, are all much more powerful than this, 
I still think it's a good effort. A 30.859 will put it into 25th place. It's very slightly slower than the Roof CR4, uh, which is a shame. Uh, slower than the Civic EG, uh, Acura Integra Type R, Golf V5. They're all sort of the more powerful uh, front wheel drive cars. And they all, apart from the uh, EG Civic, all of those don't have race mod. But again, they're like 350, 360 horsepower. Uh, well, as this is only 311, so I think that bodes really well for the EK Civic and, of course, the Mugen Civics as well, uh, which I think can have a turbo on them. They make about 350 horsepower. They should be very quick indeed, but we'll uh, we'll see those when they come to the track. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.